If you've got low frame rate, FPS stutters or even game crashes in the latest season of Fortnite then you need to try out the following methods I'll be showcasing in this video today that will definitely help improve your overall performance. Getting straight into it, you guys need to firstly make sure that your systems meet the requirements to even run the game. These are the minimum system requirements. If you just meet these you will not get very high FPS even on the lowest settings using performance mode but if you can meet the recommended system requirements you will achieve high FPS and even even get more FPS while using the lower settings. So if all are considered, you may want to upgrade your gaming PC, specifically the processor, the video card and the RAM. Next you want to make sure that you update your graphics cards as the manufacturers of these graphics cards like Nvidia and AMD update their drivers regularly to improve performance and fix bugs game crashes and way more. For Nvidia you can go over to this website on screen where you can actually find your specific GPU and find the latest drivers for it or old drivers if you're into that. Same with AMD, it's the same thing, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's the same thing, you can literally put in your graphics card and you'll find the latest drivers. Alternatively, like I mentioned before, you can also get all the drivers and for Nvidia specifically, that's the only ones I know of because I've researched, here are some great ones on screen that may work for your GPU. Next you want to open up the Epic Games Launcher you want to go over to the library on the left hand side you want to go on the Fortnite game click the three horizontal dots and you want to go into manage right here and you want to verify your game files if you verify your game files this makes sure that the game is installed correctly which can fix stuff like game crashes fps stutters and many more due to missing files textures or any other content. After that's done verifying you can go back into the free horizontal dots section right here and if you go under manage where it says installation and click on this little icon that's called open install location. If you give that a click it'll be where your Fortnite's actually installed and if you then click on Fortnite game, binaries, win64 and scroll down to where you see the Fortnite client win64shipping.exe if you go ahead right click on that and select the properties tab inside of here under compatibility inside of here if you tick the disable full screen optimizations this could potentially fix your crashes and stutters just make sure once you've actually ticked it you click apply then ok another thing you can do inside the epic games launcher is save space by clicking on these three horizontal icons clicking on the options tab and then here's where you'll find the Fortnite install options now firstly you want to actually uncheck save the world as none of you guys probably play it and then also make sure you uncheck high resolution textures as this can save you a ton of space as well and it's not really needed if you are not using DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 same with the shaders you can uncheck that too I also like to disable cosmetic streaming as this is just a way better setting and I think it's worth the storage it does take up because you want streaming every single cosmetic just don't forget to click apply after you've applied all of these after you've done that before you open the game up I recommend going to the Epic Games launch icon on your desktop right clicking on it and running it as administrator it'll come up with a pop-up just select yes and then from here once you've actually opened it like that if you click the Fortnite game and launch it here this will run the game as an admin this will then make sure that when you launch the game from here it actually runs as administrator which could potentially prevent any crashes after the game has been launched you can go ahead and click Control alt and delete you can then open up your task manager and once the task manager has opened up and you've selected Fortnite, I like to right click on it click on go to details this will take you to the exact process that is running right now and if you right click on it and set the priority from normal to high you could potentially get more FPS. It'll ask if you want to confirm, just click on change priority and then after that if I just double check set priority you can see it's running on high. After you've done that you can close that down, go back into game, click on the settings tab at the top right corner and then inside the video settings tab under rendering mode I recommend you all use performance low graphical fidelity as what this does is it offers significant performance gains by disabling most rendering features to reduce memory usage and lighten the load on your CPU and GPU. So essentially what it's saying there is it'll lower your graphical fidelity but it'll give you more FPS as it's less intensive for your PC so it's definitely one I do recommend using if you do have a lower end PC another thing you can do is head over to your desktop and press the Windows key plus R and then inside here if you type in temp just like that four letters press OK here are all of your temporary files and as the name suggests these are all of your temporary files which we can actually delete I myself I simply just go control A select all then delete and click yes some are actually not deletable I just make sure to skip all of them that aren't and it's not a big deal as you can see right here in total there's actually three type of temp files there's another one which is a percentage sign temp and then percentage sign again do the same thing control a delete and then delete all of these some will not be deletable 
that's not a problem just skip and you are all good to go and then the last one we've got is prefetch just like so type in that press ok and then inside the prefetch file we can actually do the same again Control alt and delete and then delete all of these right here just like that skip and some will be remaining it's all good after you've done that another thing you can do on the desktop is go to the bottom left right click on your start menu click on the settings tab and this will bring up your control panel inside here if you click on privacy you will have the general privacy settings which all of these can be turned off and i do actually recommend it because some of these can actually give you stutters so go ahead and disable all of those in addition to that you can scroll down on the left hand side to where you see the background applications app and this is another one where all of these applications these background apps are running in the background and it's just not needed at all so just go ahead and disable all of those and then after that you can back out click on the gaming tab right here and another thing you can do is disable the game bar that also can um, actually cause lower fps and game crashes and then in the game mode i recommend turning this on as it can optimize your pc for gaming and then if you go into the graphical settings too and make sure the hardware acceleration GPU scheduling is turned on as this not only can reduce latency but it can improve performance. Now myself I like to select the specific game that I'm playing at the time. And then finally another thing you can do is click on the start menu bar and then type in adjust and this will show the option adjust the appearance and performance of windows. If you click on that tab right there you can actually change it from the best appearance to adjust for best performance and you'll notice that it unchecks a lot of these boxes. I would also recommend going through and actually selecting like like free that may be beneficial to you like one for example right here is show thumbnails instead of icons that can be very beneficial another thing you can do is go over to your desktop press ctrl alt delete click on the task manager then on the performance tab right here and you'll notice straight away that your computer has been on for a significant amount of days mine's been two days of uptime even though i've been turning it off it just sits on in the background if that makes sense to fix this what we're going to do is go back over to the desktop we're going to click on the start menu, click on the settings tab right there, head into the display, scroll down, click on the power and sleep, then click the additional settings. And then if you click on that left hand side menu right there, click on change settings that are currently unavailable, then uncheck turn on fast start up. What this will do is it'll actually make sure that our computer does actually turn off and shut down completely. And it doesn't like just sort of stay idle in the background. And then after this, you'll see that if we do restart our PC, our uptime has actually been reset. And the PC is actually completely fresh and restarted fully. And that right there is a few methods that should potentially help you stop any FPS drops, stutters and even game crashes in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. If it did help out, feel free to drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the item shop when you do purchase anything. Or if you do get that brand new battle pass, I'd appreciate that a turn. Catch us in the next one and feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.